In today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to create a room schedule in Revit. Schedules are a very powerful tool in Revit and a big reason on why you would use Revit over some other programs. I already have some rooms set up. Um, they're named, they have a number, and I already have a color fill legend applied here. If you missed how to do those, go check out my other videos on those topics. So two ways to get to create a schedule in Revit. The first way is to go up to the ribbon and go to the view tab and then go to the schedules drop, drop down. And you have a list of schedules to choose from. The second way is to go over to your project browser and go over to schedules, right click, and again, you'll have that same drop down. My preferred method is to go over to the project browser as I think it's quicker. So you'll see you have some options here. The option that we want to choose is for our rooms is new schedule quantities. So I will select that. In the new schedule dialog box, you'll see all these parameters of the category to choose. Uh, you can make this list a little bit shorter if you filter out. I've already filtered it, but by default, all of these will show, but we really only want to show architecture. And to get to rooms faster, you can press R on your keyboard and get down to the R's. So there's rooms. I will select that. Over here, this is the name. You can change that if you'd like. Um, and then we have two different options here, schedule building components or schedule keys. Majority of the time, you're going to choose schedule building components. I will get into scheduling keys on a later video. And then below, we want to choose this phase, existing or new construction. In my case, it's new construction. So this is good to go. I will press OK. Now it leads to another dialog box here to set up your schedule. This is a list of all parameters associated with rooms you can have in your schedule. And there's all sorts of other formatting and sor sorting options here that we will get into later. So first, let's choose our parameters. Area is one that I want to see, so I'm going to use this green arrow and move it over to the schedule, scheduled fields. Uh, level is one I want to see. Name is what I want to see. Number. Uh, and let's choose floor finish. And that's pretty good, but you can go and see there's all sorts of things you can choose from. Perimeter, let's choose that. And now let's say this isn't the order that I want them in. Maybe I want level at the very top of the list. So I can use these arrows down below to move them around. Maybe I want name and number next, area, floor finish, perimeter. Those are okay to me. So that's all I'm gonna worry about now. If you had any Revit files linked into, this pro into your project, and you want them to schedule, you can choose include elements and link down here. Now I'm going to press OK. So here's my room schedule. So there's a couple things that I want to do to kind of just kind of clean this up and make this look a little better. So I'll start with the things I can do just right here. You can you can edit what this says or add to it and it doesn't change the parameter. So let's say I'm working in square feet. So, and it's indicated here, 594 SF. So I'm just gonna put something for people to know that I mean square feet, okay? Everything else I think is named okay. Another thing you can do here is you can change the font. So I can highlight the header and go to font and let's make it a little bit bigger. So maybe we want to make it a quarter inch and make it bold. Okay, that looks good. Maybe we want to change the font as well. Okay, good. Something else you can do here is you can shade and we can put a color to make it look a little better. Maybe I want these bold so they stand out. Okay. 
So a couple other things I want to do to clean this up a little bit. Probably don't want 00, zero level one finished floor showing up on every row. So I might want to remove that. It looks like Revit organized this schedule alphabetically and I want to organize it numerically. So let's go in and do that. First thing I want to do, let's say I can hide the level. I still want to see that it's on level one, but we can, we can make that show up. So I'm going to go to sorting and grouping. So first thing I want to do is I want to sort by level and then put a header. So what that's going to do is that's going to put level one at the very top so they know that these are all the rooms in level one. So if you had multiple levels, there would be another space and it would say level two and the rooms in level two below it. Okay. Second thing I want to do is make these room numbers. I want 101 to be at the top. So again, I'm going to go to sorting and grouping and then I'll say by number. Uh, another thing that's important to set, have checked is itemized every instance. Uh, let's say okay. Good, that renumbered everything, so 101 is at the top. Next thing I want to do, maybe I want to see the total square footage of all the rooms down below. I will go to formatting, click on area, and down below, I can say calculate totals and press OK. Before, that didn't work because in order for, it's kind of a two-step process, in order for calculate totals to work, you have to have grand totals selected. And you have some options here. You can say totals only, title count and totals, titles and totals, count and totals. So let's, let's just do title count and totals so we can see everything that's involved. So that added a grand total of nine rooms and 4,397 square feet. A couple other things I can do to make this look a little better. Maybe I want every column with a number centered. So I can simply highlight them and, I'll, and center them here. So that's looking good. So in order to really see what this is going to look like, we want to put it on a sheet. So I already have a sheet set up here with my floor plan on it. So I'm going to go over to that schedule, click on it, click again, hold down and drag it over and drop it onto my sheet. So that's what it looks like. Uh, we can resize things over here if we want to. So that's looking fairly good. There are some other things that you can do to, to jazz it up a little more. You can simply double click and go back to your schedule. And these options are on in Revit 2021. So if you're working in a later version, you may not have all of these options to make it look like this. So first thing, let's see what stripe rows looks like. So first row, you can kind of choose how you want to stripe your rows and let's just do a simple gray. Uh, okay, let's see what that looks like. So that's looking good, but you really need to go to your room. Okay, yeah, that looks good. It's a lot easier to see. Maybe I want, so waiting area is taking up two spaces. Maybe I want to go over there. That's great. You can take those lines off that are bordering it and leave them on, but you can play around and really do a lot of things. That is generally how you set up a room schedule. Thanks for watching.